Hello. I am going to show you how to make the chain rosette fringe. This is basically done by working off of a existing edge such as a blanket or a scarf. So I am going to show you how to do this little tutorial with a simple crochet edge. So I am going to place 15 double crochets here and show you how this works. Now pretending that this is the edge of a blanket, let's start. I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to do five double crochets. It's two, three, four, and five. All right. Then I'm going to chain twenty three. One, two, three, four, five. I'll meet you at 23. After 23 chains, we're going to make a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. Do not count the loop on the hook. We count the completed ones. One, two, three, where my thumb is will be number four, so I'm going to place one double crochet there to get started. Now in the same space, I'm going to add three more double crochets. This will give me a total of four double crochets in this one chain space. You can see it's starting to curl a little bit right now. So in the next chain, we're going to place three double crochets. One, two, and three. In the second, after the first one we did here, in the second one, we're going to place three more double crochets. One, two, and three. You see our little rosette's curling all by itself. We're going to do this one more time. This will be our fourth chain that will have multiple double crochets stitches in it. All right. Now before we move down back to our work here, we want to take this and not leave it so it's floppy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll this up just a little bit tighter and then make a single crochet up here in one of these chains or slip stitch rather. Then the last double crochet that came out, you can see it right here in your chain, the last one that came out place a slip stitch in that one, whoops I had my yarn on the wrong side on in that one as well and that'll give a little spiral look and that'll make our little rose rosette let's see I hope my lights not too bright okay then we're going to chain 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, 
Now you can count 10 back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then in the 11th, we're going to place a slip stitch. I usually pick up two so that it doesn't look like it's been stretched out. Okay, so here we have our little rosette down here, and here's our chain. Now we have one, two, three, four, five chains left. So let's chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, now at the top of our half double crochet, just pick up that one stitch and slip stitch. So this is what you should have. You see the little openings right there and our little rosette. Okay. After we've slip stitched, go right into the next stitch with a half double crochet. There's one. two, three, four, and five. After this, you will start your chain for 23 and repeat this rosette again. This makes a real cute edging if you choose to make it shorter and make the rosette even closer, that's up to you. But this makes a nice little fringe option. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and happy crocheting.